Good morning and welcome. We come together today as a community of faith to celebrate the growing leadership of the Fordham Prep class of 2021, as well as to pray for our community and the world in the midst of this current global pandemic. We bring our joys and sorrows, hopes and fears, as well as our convictions and anxieties to the altar of the Lord as we commemorate our upcoming journey of new responsibilities as leaders in the Fordham Prep community and the world. We recall especially those both near and far who are suffering due to the coronavirus and their caregivers. As a sign of solidarity with our brothers and sisters around the world who have suffered so much, the second reading will be proclaimed in Italian. So, as the church continues to celebrate the Easter season, let us put our faith in the resurrected Christ who has conquered death and promises both his love and abiding presence to all of us. Again, welcome to our liturgy. Today, my congregation here at the Prep Chapel consists of Father Schweitzer, Mr. Lorenz, and Mr. Fury, and I hope I, many of you, and your families. Today, we celebrate my sixth Sunday after Easter, but we also celebrate the class of 2021. Many of you, I, as you transition into the student leadership of the Prep. Let us begin this liturgy as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We gather together to hear the word of the Lord, to celebrate his Eucharist. Let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, to ask God for his forgiveness and his healing grace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise, praise you, we bless you, you, we adore you, you we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take, take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. us. For you, you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us life to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant that your people constantly abound in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise for the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. 
Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Dalla prima lettera di San Pietro Apostolo Carissimi, adorate il Signore Cristo nei vostri cuori, pronti sempre a rispondere a chiunque vi domandi ragione della speranza che è in voi. Tuttavia questo sia fatto con dolcezza e rispetto, con una retta coscienza, perché nel momento stesso in cui si parla male di voi, rimangano svergognati quelli che malignano sulla vostra buona condotta in Cristo. Se questa infatti è la volontà di Dio, è meglio soffrire operando il bene che facendo il male, perché anche Cristo è morto una volta per sempre per i peccati giusto per gli ingiusti, per ricondurvi a Dio, messo a morte nel corpo, ma reso vivo nello spirito. Parola di Dio. The Word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows him, but you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Right? And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. In a little while, the world will no longer see me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The president of a large university received this letter. Dear Father President, my son Roger I, I will be attending your great university this fall. I want you I, to take a personal hand in the selection of his roommate. I don't want Roger I, sharing a room with anyone who drinks, 
smokes, uh, uses drugs, uses profane language, or cohorts with females. Right? You see, this is the first time my Roger has been away from home, except for the three years he spent in the U.S. Marines. I guess some people have a hard time letting go. Right? Those first disciples must have had a hard time letting go of Jesus. Right? Right? But I suspect that Jesus had an even more uh, difficult time uh, of letting go. Right? It was hard for him. Unlike the nature of human love, which is often measured, conditioned, proportioned, and at times self-serving, Jesus' love is absolutely selfless. Nothing proves this more than the symbol of our religion, the cross. Symbols are an essential part of almost every single religion that I know of. In fact, I, I, uh, some anthropologists and social scientists define human beings as symbol-making animals. The Easter candle, which stands uh, at the side of the altar uh, in most churches from Easter to Pentecost, reminds us of the physical presence of Jesus for about 33 years. Candles are an important part of our religious rituals and sacraments. When we are carried into a church uh, by those who loved us first in this life, for the first blessing of baptism, a candle is placed by our side. And someday, when we are carried again into a church I, by those who loved us last in this life for a final blessing, a candle will again be placed by our side. The symbolism is obvious. We do not walk through this life alone. Jesus is ever by our side, even when we don't recognize him. Just like I, the disciples on the road to Emmaus. But after Pentecost, I, this candle I, will be gone. Yet, even though it's extinguished and removed from by the altar, I, the candle still remains symbolic I, of resurrection life, new beginnings, and of course, the light who is Christ. The removal of the candle also reminds us that the light who is Christ must be internalized by those who profess that Jesus is Lord. The light must shine from within to without. Each reception of the Eucharist also reminds us that Jesus uh, must dwell within us. The disciples I, I stared sadly into the sky on the day of the ascension. I, they were suddenly overwhelmed by a group of angels who said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking up at the skies? This question is important. Right? There is work to be done. We are not uh, to stand around wishing for things to happen. Right? The gospel mission is now in our hands to use our creative energies to spread its message of peace, justice, and love. Jesus is still with us, providing us uh, with the inspiration and the strength right, uh, for the gospel task. Uh, we are not alone or irrevocably separated from him uh, by time and space. The seniors out of the prep will soon be gone, right? which means that the school mission will now be placed in your hands, class of 2021, to inspire and to be role models for the underclassmen. This is a formidable and challenging mission, right? and we, administrators and faculty, know that you are up to the task. Never in the history of Fordham Prep has this mission been more challenging than in these days. Much of the courage, strength, and zeal that you need will come from the Eucharist. Like those two disciples on the road to Emmaus, may you always recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread, so that you may always recognize him in one another and in yourselves.
God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Lord. Let us confess our faith. I believe in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and went to Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have heaven. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism with the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we prepare to offer our Eucharistic gifts, let us offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father, as always, in the name of Jesus, the Lord. That in light of Christ's victory over death, the faithful of all nations may work together to overcome challenges to world health, economic stability, and human rights, we pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved parents who through support and sacrifice, have accompanied us on our journeys, we pray to the Lord. For the class of 2021, as they assume a greater role of leadership as seniors at Fordham Prep next year, that they be faithful to the values of the gospel and be inspired by the example of the disciples, we pray to the Lord. That those who have died, especially William Baez, father of Mr. Willie Baez, Kenneth Farnham Sr., father of Mr. Kenneth Farnham, Elizabeth Herrera Gonzalez, mother of Dr. Raymond Gonzalez, Miguel Gelpi, father of Dr. David Gelpi, Viola Junjulas, mother of Mrs. Deborah Di Demizio, Agostino Faustini, father of Ms. Teresa Faustini, Ms. Alicia Williams, mother of Jaden Stewart, class of 2022 that they may one day share in the promise of new life, won for us by the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For the deeply held prayers of our hearts, that our prayers may be united with Mary and Joseph, John the Baptist, Ignatius Loyola, and all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, which we raise to you in the name of Jesus, the risen Lord. Let us prepare the Lord's table. So blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For your goodness, we have this branch to offer, which earth has given. And human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, may it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, I send these gifts which we offer to you with and contract hearts. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of all God's holy church. 
Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given a cause for great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may be a fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. But Lord, during this particular time, I to glory you with greater joy when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has restored our death. By rising, he has restored our life. Right? And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion and took and giving thanks he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to, to bring these presents to you. Right? Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your kingdom. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, our Holy Spirit of St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, and Saints, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we too merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 To receive his command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we give us not temptation, but those who are us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For in the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a greeting in peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take the sins of our world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, how blessed are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shed from under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Before our closing prayer, I would like to present our annual John Haley Man for Others Award. This award is given each year to a junior who has exhibited the qualities of a man for others, someone who puts the needs of others before his own, someone who is there for his friends and family, and someone committed to doing justice. St. Ignatius Loyola reminds us in the spiritual exercises that love ought to manifest itself in deeds rather than words. The Man for Others Award recognizes a young man who manifests his love for his sisters and brothers through his actions. The award is named for John Haley, Prep Class of 1987. John is Vice President for Development at New York Presbyterian Hospital and serves on the Prep Board of Trustees as Chair of the Development Committee. John has worked for 30 years in the field of development. During his time at New York Presbyterian, he has been an advocate for and friend to countless PrEP alumni and their families who have had medical procedures at the network's hospitals. John truly embodies all the qualities of a man for others. This award comes with a $1,500 scholarship thanks to an endowment established by Jim Rowan, PrEP class of 1982 and former chair of our board of trustees. Thanks to a generous additional contribution from Mr. Rowan and Mr. Haley, the award this year will be given to two students. I am pleased to announce this year's recipients of the John Haley Man for Others Award are Emmanuel Baltazar and Chris Hildago. Congratulations. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant that those who you are pleased to renew by these eternal mysteries, may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection of Jesus through Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you, and with your spirit, and may the peace and blessing of Almighty God go with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is over, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. God. Have a healthy day, and class of 2021, have a blessed and happy senior year.